So we're waking up in the 40s. You certainly do want that jacket as you're headed out and about an extra layer to start the day. But then we are going to be ditching that because temperatures are actually going to be in the low 70s. We're even going to be in the mid 70s Thursday into Friday. So this spring like stretch over the weekend, we're in the 60s with some wet weather to get through by the second half of the weekend, which is also St. Patty's Day. And cell phones are becoming a problem in classrooms across the nation, including right here in Maryland. Amy Quada explains how our local school districts are handling this issue. Well, a growing number of leaders at the state and federal levels have either proposed legislation or taken action to curb access to cell phones in schools. Right now here in Maryland, the cell phone policy remains at the hands of districts and school leaders and varies from one classroom to another. Today at a Carroll County Board of Education meeting, teachers and principals are set to present recommended policy changes, including a possible ban of phones in the classrooms next year. In Baltimore County, the expectation is that cell phones are put away and silenced during instruction time and school leaders believe parents and guardians have to do more to help encourage and enforce the policy. For now, reporting for WJZ, I'm Amy Kawada. More than two dozen former residents of the Good Shepherd Service Services Treatment Program are alleging sexual abuse by nuns, priests, and staff members. The lawsuit said these, crew, these kids were groomed, bribed, assaulted, and drugged. In a joint statement, the State Department of Juvenile Services, Human Services, and the Maryland Department of Health say they have not been served with this lawsuit yet. But they say they take allegations of sexual abuse of kids in their care seriously. Today, the Maryland Senate is expected to vote on the Department of Juvenile Justice Transparency Act, and if passed, the DJS would have to report the number of juveniles involved in shootings who are under their supervision to the General Assembly.